Boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new video. And yes, we are playing Mob of the Dead in Black Ops 3. I've decided from now on as well, I'm going to keep the face cam out. I just feel like my personality comes across a lot better without my face cam. I know I did say in one of my most previous videos that I'll put the face cam on, but I don't know. I've been thinking about it and yeah, I'm just going to keep it out. But enough about that. Let's play this amazing map. Dude, this was my favorite map in Black Ops 2. It is absolutely fantastic and it looks even better in Black Ops 3. And they have the easter egg bottle as well. They've got every single easter egg. I don't know if they've got the full easter egg though. So as far as the side ones are concerned, like I can throw my Hell's Retriever at that and get the skulls for the blunder gap, which I'll do later because that is an amazing easter egg. Also, the solo easter egg is a four player one. So you'll have to download a patch to be able to do it solo anyway. And it's time to feed the dogs. Dude, this is legit nostalgia fuel for me. So if I start kind of rambling on about random stuff, then I do apologize in advance. Oh, no. Oh, no, please don't surround me, please. Oh, I've done it to myself, man. What an idiot. I don't know if it's the same in the original, but you just have to feed it six zombies and then it's done, basically. From what I remember in the Black Ops 2 version, you had to feed them like 700,000 of these zombies just for it to end. It was so annoying, bro. I swear I was here for like three rounds at a time. I believe that is you completed, my friend. And yes, it is. Let's go on to the next one. The Warden's Key isn't here. I'm guessing it's all the way down there, but I don't want to go there yet. I wonder if the box is here, actually. No, it's not. God damn it. I've not done this for a while. Let's go into the afterlife mode and get the, what's it called? The electric thingy-ma-bobs. These things that are right here. Also, a little trick. You don't have to go all the way along. You can literally just walk in, hit it, and it opens up right there for you. Currently, the only way you can get this map is through a Patreon link. I'll put the Patreon link in the description. If you do want to donate to the guy, feel free because maps like this are absolutely fantastic. And I believe the same guy made the Call of the Dead map as well, which is on the workshop as we speak. Wow, that was a long sentence in one breath. God damn. Is this the last zombie? I really want to get the insta-kill, but I also don't want to waste it. I just can't get over how pretty this map actually looks. And with the colour correction on OBS as well, if I look over onto my second monitor, it looks beautiful. I'd just also like to say thank you for the support on my most recent video. At the time of recording this, my most recent video is the one where I played the first ever custom zombies map on World at War. That video by itself hit 2.3k in about 24 hours. I think it was just over 24 hours actually, which for my channel, bro, that's literally insane. I got the insta-kill from there, knife the first zombie, and it killed them all. Dude. Dude, I can't believe that just happened. I'm so upset. You know, if it would have just let me use that insta-kill instead of giving me a kaboom or a nuke, as you guys call it, right off the bat, I could have had enough to open that and I would have started the second dog already. But the zombie gods obviously don't want me to do that for whatever reason. This MP5 sounds so nice as well. I don't know what it is about it. It probably sounds the exact same. It might just be the nostalgia, to be honest with you. Do you have an acid gas pod for me, my friend? Yes, you do. Okay, no, you don't. That means that it's got to be right over here somewhere where's it gone hello acid gap part where are you you're right there i've still not got the warden's key bro i'm such an idiot the ooze wow long time no see my friend not that i want to see you because you're probably one of the worst guns on this map if you give me a kaboom after getting this i swear to god i'm never playing this game again that was a complete lie i love call of duty zombies with my whole entire being I wonder if the glitch has been fixed where I walked through this bit and it let me see through the whole entire map. Yeah, it's been fixed apparently, but yeah, that's what it was like before. I could see everything. You know what's mad? The first time I actually played this the other day, because I've had it for about a week now, I played really well, but now I'm just being an absolute noob, clearly. That's you completed. Let's freaking go, boys. I need to get that way. Excuse me. Can I, uh, can I get through, please? Apparently not. Okay, nice. Lovely. Thank you very much. Why did you not reload my magazine, though? I needed to get this. I didn't actually need to go this way. Apart from now when I jump up here. Um, what's just happened? Okay, cool. Let's hit that real quick. Go down here. Hit dead shot. I always used to get dead shot on this map. And I never knew why. Maybe it's just force of habit. But yeah. But right now, I need to get the warden's key. Oh my god. I could have turned on electric cherry as well. What an absolute moron. Please serve me well, double points. Please serve me well. I might be able to afford things after this. Me and my girlfriend have this joke that she bought me the Chainsaw Man box set for my birthday, which I'm halfway through right now. And she's addicted to Dr. Pepper, so we just make this joke that she can't afford Dr. Pepper anymore. I don't know why, I just thought it was hilarious because she's practically addicted to the stuff. And Pepsi Max, I tell her not to drink it because it's going to rot your goddamn teeth. But I mean, she's her own person, so yeah, she can do whatever she wants. And now it's time for me to do my magic trick. Watch this. 
Jump up there. Why did I miss? Oh, man, I hit myself. There we go. That's that done. And then we go in here. We hit that to open this door. And then we go this way. Turn on the, what's it called? The speed cooler. The box is there as well. Fantastic. Take that. I could have opened this door for double tap. God damn, I hate myself. Okay, let's go, 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 go quick before I die. Turn on that as well while I'm here and then turn on the gondola. Let's see if I can hit. It. Where's it gone? Can I see it from here? I don't know where Jug is. I'm seeing if I can hit it from here though. I think that's it right there. I don't know. I'm just going to guess. Another part for the acid gas should be down here or it's near spawn. I know it's one of those locations. Yeah, it's definitely near spawn, I think. I believe it is somewhere down here. It's usually on this table, but yeah, apparently not. Is it along here somewhere? I'm looking for the thing that's like a case or something. Thing. It's got to be along here, right? The warden's key's there, so that's a good start. Is it in here? I know there's a part in here. There used to be, at least, anyway, like, around here. Yeah, there's nothing here that I can see, anyway. <laughs> Let's hit the box before it all goes pear-shaped. This is going to go really wrong. I can just feel it. The Galil! Yes! Come on! Give me a double points or something, please. That's what I want. This is literally the worst combo ever. This is what I'm saying right now, because, yeah, I don't like you, Nuke. That's the street lamp we gotta hit later to get the skull for the blunder guy in case we don't get it from spamming the box. Now that I've got the warden's key, I'm gonna unlock this as well, and then I'm gonna go back up, I'm gonna turn on Juggernaut, and I'm gonna get this part all at the same time. Look at me being an absolute top G. And that's a part for the shield. Speaking of parts for the shield, I've just surrounded myself as a result of getting that shield part, so yeah, look at me. Not anymore, really, again. Bro, again, come on genuinely hate this so much i can't believe it they should just ban nukes from the game if any mod creators are watching this just please make a patch where it gets rid of the nukes i beg no no don't get rid of juggernaut i'm not intended on yet that's one of the parts for the plane. Let's go. This is not going to be fun. I've got to pay 2,000 just to unlock it and then another 2,500 just to get it. You know what? Forget it. I'm going to do it. There we go. I might have just completely screwed myself, but it's all good. Don't worry. If there's one thing you know about me, guys, I'm a professional zombies trainer. Watch this. I don't even need to do it. Look, I can just go down here. What's up, Brutus? I've not seen you for a while, bro. See you later. <laughs> See, this is what I call a good combination of power-ups. Let's go. This is going well. I basically just got all my money back. I've just realized something. Technically, you could call the blunder gat the blunder gat. I don't know why I decided to say that, but yeah, I just thought it was funny as hell. We've just unlocked this, and we've got some secret codes. I think you can still do 115 and things like that. If you haven't seen it, I will do it at some point. I just need to get through all of this and get the parts so I don't look like a complete bot. If you are enjoying the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn post notifications on. I upload every single Monday and Thursday at 6 p.m. GMT, which is UK time. So we get that one and there's one in here as well i think is that right yeah it's right there is there another one we need to get or is that it there's one there i think is that it yeah is it started smoking okay cool awesome 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 come on zombies i need to get the hell's retriever at some point this week you know what i mean i think they should make a perk called like electric slider or something so you know obviously when i reload this happens maybe somebody should make one so when you slide there's like loads of lightning similar to how banana colada works but the electric version so if you're a modder watching this please make that and now we can get the hell's retriever let's go dun 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 we have got the hell's retriever boys and girls let's go that's the grenade button which one is okay this one's the hell's retriever hiya six eight and four awesome what is the timer for this is it like a minute or is it 30 seconds or something i can't remember what i do remember is the good old days when you'd have somebody sat at the bottom basically waiting then you'd have the friends training the zombie like there just so you could get this done or is that just me being trashed with my friends years ago who knows is that the warden's helmet i think it is no it's not is it i don't know while i'm in this area i'm just gonna bite the bullet and get this part real quick because it's just gonna get worse as the rounds progress so i'm just gonna get it now Wish me luck, boys and girls. I might get absolutely crushed or I might absolutely crush them. I don't know which way it's going to go yet. Come on, zombies. I'm not scared of you. I mean, well, I, uh, I am a little bit. Look at all those zombies, man. Oh, my God. What is this? Insta-kill. Oh, yeah. Come on. Mission completed. Let's get it, boys. Come on. And now it's time to hit the box for the blunder guy. And after that, well, actually, let's get this part first. Then after that, I'm going to build the acid guy and get the skulls, which I'll show you how to get. So then I've got the acid guy and the blunder guy. Then I'm going to pack a punch them both. Yeah, you'll see. I don't know why I'm telling you. 
in this, but yeah. Yeah, just what I wanted, an RPG, bro. Like, come on, this is not what I wanted. Neither is that, but let's see what it looks like in Black Ops 3. The scope's been remodeled. Oh, man, that looks so clean. I can't even lie. I really want to pack a punch this because you get the iron sights on it. But I'm going to gamble all my money away to see if I get the blunder gap. And that's not a blunder gap, but I'll take it right now because Brutus is going to come. See you later, bro. <laughs> that is not the blunder gap, mate. Fire sale. Come on, I'm definitely going to get the blunder gap. There's no way on this earth I'm not going to get it. Are you the last zombie? I think you are. As a result of that, I'm going to get that fire sale and spam this box like nobody's business. I saw the blunder gap. I saw the blunder gap. We're going to get it this try. Are you ready? Watch this. Watch this, boys. I wasn't far off. I saw it again. One more try. Come on, let's get it. Come on. No, thank you. I don't want the S12. And now it's time to build the plane since I've got every single part. Wow, doesn't she look pretty? I'll tell you now, this is nostalgia fueled so hard I could actually cry. So if you want the blunder gap, this is what you got to do. You got to throw your thing right there at the corner and you get one skull. You'll know when you've got it because you'll hear like a ka-ching sound, I guess. The next one is right in this skull here. Kaboom, there we go. We've got that one. The next one is in the warden's office. If you aim for this like electric pylon and just fire, kaboom, there we go. That's the third. The next one is here. And I think this is the most difficult one to get. Sometimes it does take me a few tries. But if you jump, there we go. We got it first try. That's the fourth one. And the next one, I think it's in this pylon right here. That's in the water. Yes, it is. That's all of them. That's all five. You'll know when you've done it because you'll hear like a demonic laugh that's typical of Call of Duty zombies. Just for the record, I know I say the word like and actually a lot. I do apologise. It's just, it's just the way I talk, to be honest. I'm trying to think of something else I can tell you about myself. Oh, I could tell you something cool. I went for my first morning run today. I did just under four kilometres in, I can't remember what it was. I think it was about 20 minutes roundabouts. My pace was five minutes. No, it's not. That's a lie. Why did I even say that? I meant six minutes and five seconds, not five minutes and five seconds, because that would mean I'm an elite runner, which I'm nowhere near. So once you've got all five skulls, if you walk into the warden's office, it'll just shoot up from the desk. The next big question is, which gun do I get rid of? I'm going to get rid of the Galil. I'm so sorry. This will always be my favorite wonder weapon of all time. It probably is the nostalgia factor, but it is absolutely fantastic. I love this gun with my whole absolute heart. I've said that already, and I don't care. The only thing I need now is speed caller, and I'm pretty much set, and then I'm going to go pack a punch it. Actually, I'm going to hit the box after I've made this into the acid gap. I can't remember where all the parts are, but I'll find them, don't worry. The classic training spot on Mob of the Dead. I've just got a part without doing anything. What part was that? That was an um, acid gap part. Oof, take that. I've just basically blown all of the stomachs out. That is insane. I'm just really trying to find the last acid gap part now because without it, I can't do very much at the moment. Because without that, it's not going to give me the second blunder gap. Whereas if I've already got one as the acid gap, it's not going to think I've got one if that kind of makes sense. Where is this last acid gap part? It's got to be somewhere. It's not down here because I've basically just been here. Is it there? No. Is it there? No. I actually don't know where it is. I'm missing the case for it, but... But I, yeah, literally cannot find it at all anywhere. I might have walked past it 400 times for all I know, but yeah. Hang on a sec. Did the warden lock this speed caller before he shot over to me or did he not? Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, he didn't. Okay, that's cool. I've got all my perks now. Get in. Let's see how this thing fires real quick. Oh, yeah, that is so much better. So another little Easter egg if you want the spork is you will go to here and hit the poster just like that. That did not work. Okay, then. I do apologize, guys. I was going to show you another really cool Easter egg, but the game just won't let me do it. Where is this acid gap part? Is it in here? No, it's not. I thought it was then, but that's an acid trap that completely just pranked the living hell out of me. It's just dawned on me that I've already got the case for the acid gap kit and the part is actually in the warden's office somewhere. It looks like a video camera from what I remember. I'm pretty sure it's in here, right? It's usually in the corner, but for some weird reason, it's not there today. Haha, -ha, yes, with the video camera thing. We have got the acid gap, boys and girls. Let's freaking go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fantastic. You're practically invincible at this point. Now I'm gonna head to the cafeteria and spam some zombies, get some points, hit the box, get the regular blunder gap and pack a punch both of them. Let's train these zombies. Oh my god, I almost died. Really? Really? You being serious right now? For real? See you later, zombies. See you later. This gun is a high round strategy in and of itself. Honestly, it is so goddamn good. This, my friend, is a weird looking blunder gap, I'll be honest with you. 
You know what? The PDW is one of my favorite all-time guns from Black Ops 2. When it had the suppressor on it with the party rock camo, that thing was amazing on multiplayer. Why does it keep giving me this gun, man? Oh, my God. Please give me the blunder, guy. I've just used my last thousand points on you. Come on, bro. That is not it. I did think it was for a split sec, though. This is how us OGs used to train the zombies back in the day. I bet you guys that play Modern Warfare 3 zombies can't do anything like that. No offense to anyone that does play Modern Warfare 3 zombies, but it takes absolutely no skill. And if you really want to see me do it for a video, then I will. You know, if PhD was on this map and you could have Electric Cherry, dude, you could literally sit in a corner and spam the living heck out of this thing. Honestly, it's so good. But PhD is on the docks for whatever reason. So the guy that's creating this map, please, please, please put a wonder is in this map it would be fantastic to use every single perk look at all the crawlers i've made all of my little babies what are you doing bro oh no he's got kill mate no please oh my god why did i do that all because i wanted to shoot you in the face bro come on that is ridiculous guys you know what i'm just gonna get juggernaut and speed caller and yeah that's it while i'm here though let me do the 115 easter egg i can't remember what it actually does but yeah i'm just gonna see Oh, no. I don't know what that means. It puts nothing there, so what's, like, what's the point? Oh, no, not the warden, please. Why did you have to lock Jug, man? That's literally the only thing I've got. Oh, no, I'm getting surrounded. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this might be GG's. Go, go, go. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 please. No, 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 let me out of here. Thank you very much. 4,000 to unlock. Are you being serious? I'm just gonna run for my life right now. Don't mind me. No, no, please. No, no, no. Oh my god, I'm such a bot, man. I've got the Remington as well. This just really isn't a good combination. I can't lie. I'm either about to loop myself or I've trained them successfully and I don't know which one it is yet. Now I can unlock Jug for 4,000, but I still can't afford it. This, yeah, this is not going well, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to survive, dude. Just, oh man. Oh no. I just need speed caller as well so I can spam it more. I'd actually feel safe if I only had speed caller. Double points. Yes, please. Bro, why have I gone down again? We are now on round 20 and I don't have Juggernaut. This is, yeah, this is not a good idea. I keep forgetting I've got this bad boy as well. Please just let me get Jug first, please, I beg. You can do what you want to me afterwards, but just let me get Juggernaut. Okay, I've got Juggernaut. I feel somewhat safe now. Yes, a kaboom. Yeah, let's go. I never thought I'd be thankful to see one of those. Please get out of my way, zombies. I've got enough to get Speed Caller once again, so I might be doing well. I've got six bullets remaining. This is tragic. Oh, ho, 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 mate, that could not have come at a better time. Wow. So I'm going to open double tap because, I mean, I'm just going to take double tap so I can blast the acid gat. And plus, it increases your damage as well, but not by much. Come on, zombies. Come on, let's go. There we go. Now I can get double tap. Woohoo! We are onto an absolute killer game right now. This is fantastic. No scope. Hoorah! Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. I just need to build up some money and spam the box. Please give me the blunder gap. Please, 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 please. The LSAT. You know what? You know, if I end up staying with this, I don't care because the LSAT's a classic. Oh, no. Not the Remington again, please. Well, that's one way to deal with the warden. And now we've got all of the perks back. Let's go. I'm starting to get in the groove a little bit now. Kind of a little bit. Probably not. I'm going to say that and end up going down. So I take it back. I don't want to jinx myself. It's exactly what I'm saying. Look at them all. This gun is the high round machine. I'm telling you. Just let them clump up into a big ball and spam this. Oh no, I'm surrounded. What on earth do I do? Well, apparently I die again. How did that happen? Bro, this is becoming a bit of a joke right now. I can't lie. Please leave me alone, please. Oh my God. Let's see if the 400th time is a charm, boys and girls. Fire sale. Let's go. This isn't going to be the best fire sale. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. I've just done myself really dirty. Dude, I just want the blunder gap. Can you just let me get it, please? I beg. Oh, we got it. No, we didn't. I thought I got it then. God damn it. That's annoying. Okay, let me hit the box one more time real quick. We're going to get it this time. I just know it. I can feel it in my soul. No, man. How have I gone down again? Did I get the blunder gap as well? Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. The box is gone. Okay, this is just not going well for me, is it? How do I keep going down with this? Whoever's put the splash damage on this. Dude, you've messed up. I can't lie. I can't die again surely why does that keep happening it's from the splash damage before you release the map just really reduce the splash damage because it just it ruins the game man i've gone down with juggernaut as well it's just really annoying 
Double points. Hey, hey, let's go. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, wow. I thought that was it. Oh, my God. There's so many zombies and I'm on round 30 right now. This is what the sweeper looks like when it's fully packer punched. And, bro, listen, it's insane. And this is what the Viltrolic Withering is like, which is the packer punch acid gap. If you just spam it so hard, it will literally blow them all up. It's an anti surround device. And, like I say at the end of all of my videos, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn post notifications on. I upload at 6 p.m. GMT every single Monday and Thursday. Let's kill all the zombies!